What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be working on the EP3 because in the last video I said I was going to fix the exhaust but I did not get to it. So I'm going to get to that today, I'm going to fix the exhaust. I bought the bolts yesterday at AutoZone if I could find them. So I already started by jacking up the car. I got to put the jack stands, got to put those under the car but here are the bolts. So literally the ones that I'm running under the car are just straight bolts. And so these have a spring on them and these create more tension between the exhaust and the manifold So that's why I went and bought these they were like 10 bucks for the set. So I went to go pick those up and Hopefully this fixes the exhaust leak because it does sound really bad. Like I said really quick I'm gonna put the jack stands under the car and Then we'll get down there and start doing some damage. All right guys So I'm not even 10 minutes into this and I already broke something check this out. All right, so I got two bolts I got one here and I got one over here and the one from over here already broke so I have half of a bolt stuck in there and I need space for the other one to go in there so what I did is I grabbed some vice grips and I'm gonna pop the hood see if I could get it from the top if not I'm gonna have to drill it out because I really don't want to put the new ones in and then not fitting in because I have half a bolt stuck in there so, like I said, I'm going to pop the hood. I'm going to try to get it out from the top. Hopefully, I can get out from the top because I really don't want to reach down under there and not be able to grab it. Alright, guys, so check this out. So, here's the gasket that went on the engine for the header. I have no idea where this piece is. I swear that there was a piece there when we mounted it on, but... We did not tie down the header to the engine, so I think that was our exhaust seat right there. I'm going to run to the hardware store, buy an extra nut, because I did lose a nut for the header. I'm going to go pick one of those up. I think Rafa might have another exhaust manifold gasket for this header, so I hope he does. I hope we have the other one at his house, but for right now, I'm going to go find that other nut, get this thrown in. Hopefully, that fixes the problem, and then on top of that, since I did break this bolt in there I got it out what I did was I used two nuts and so I just locked these together on here since there was a small piece sticking out of the back back here and so what I did was I just twisted these on locked them onto each other and then I just turned the bottom one like you would turn a normal bolt and it came out so instead of using vice grips I did that method that worked out a lot better but I did still mess up the thread over here so I have to go get a tap and die to fix that and hopefully that fixes everything if not like I said I still have these two nuts and they should fit on the new bolts because those nuts came out of that package so I'm gonna put these up here just so I don't lose them but for now I'm just going to wait till Rafa gets off work so I can go over to his house pick up that gasket he says he has it and then we could slap the header back on the engine so I still think I'm going to lift the back end of the engine up a little just because it did look like this part of the exhaust manifold was not sealing properly as you can tell the donut is a little chewed out right there so I think that it was still leaking through there but like I said I'm going to lift the back end of the engine so it should level that part out. I'm going to do that after I tighten down the exhaust manifold though because the exhaust manifold was loose. Once the, once the exhaust manifold is tightened down, if I still have to lift the engine, I'm going to lift it just a little bit. The mounts are a little loose. They are cheap mounts, but I really think that it should just be that we did not tighten down the manifold. And so that should probably just be the problem because Rafa said that last time he dropped an engine with this manifold, that there was no leaks that he just had, had to tighten it pretty tight but now that I have the proper bolts to tighten it down hopefully by just tightening, tightening down the manifold we will get this fixed because like I said this is an issue and that I hope that's the only issue that we had to worry about alright guys so while I wait for Rafa to get here I'm gonna start working on the headlights so I'm gonna do it before and after they don't look too bad but well, right there you can tell that's pretty yellow and that's pretty yellow so I'm gonna get started on that just while Rafa comes and drops off that gasket if you guys didn't watch my last video I used water to wet sand paper towels 
I'm basically just going to go through, clean off the headlights real quick. And then I'm going to use, I forgot it inside, but I'm going to be using 1500 grit sandpaper, which is the finest grit I believe that you can use for your headlights. If you go any finer, I'm not sure the clear coat is going to go over that. As well, I'm going to be using clear coat to coat the headlights once I'm done. So, considering that this time it's not windy, I actually should get a lot better results than what I did with the BMW. They didn't turn out terrible but they did turn out pretty bad so I'm gonna give this another try and considering there's no end here I am getting blocked by this tarp back here so I'm gonna give this another try and I really think this time they will turn out a lot better and I'm gonna do lighter coats as well because last time I tried to do some heavy coats just to get it done with because of the wind but I think that's another part I messed up on so like I said water to clean 1500 grid sandpaper and light coat to clear coat. So let's get started. All right, so here's the before. I already tried cleaning this off just to try to get a good before. And so I just went over it with water just like I went over the other one um, before I started sanding it down. But like I said, here's before and here's the after. that is so much cleaner so much nicer than the before that's almost brand new so one more time so that was after and before you really can't see much in there I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that one while that one dries this one it should take about 10 minutes but yeah that turned out a lot better than what I expected it If you guys think that headlight turned out a lot nicer, make sure to leave a big thumbs up. Alright, so really quick, I'm just going to go through the process again for you guys, in case you guys want to do this, but I'm just going to go through and show you guys real quick. Literally, this is all the water that I used for one headlight. You could do it with two, but I recommend switching out water every headlight because you're going to contaminate from one headlight to the other. So. I used water to just clean them off real quick. I didn't dip the rag back in to, into the clean water. So I just cleaned it off real quick with a, with a paper towel. Once I had the headlight cleaned, what I did was I left the water since it was still clean. I grabbed my 15 grid, 1500 grid sandpaper and I ripped it in half. Then I folded it in half. I would dip it in the water and then I would only go one way so on these headlights I'd literally just go down because there were I think it'd be easy I thought it'd be easier to go down on this part since it's a little distorted and so I said you know what it'd be better if I just go down and so that's what I did I just went all the way up and down I didn't go side to side at all that's what I mean by just taking it one direction I just went up and down all right same with this one I went up and down and so you're not gonna get that result after sanding it you to get that result after you go over it with the clear coat so once you're done sanding and once you clean it off after I sanded it down I just went over that's why that's empty because I just had clean water in it so with clean water I just went through wiped it down with my hand and I poured the clean water on it just to get all of this residue off so if you can see all that stuff was on the headlights that's all the stuff that I sanded off so you know you're doing a good job if you get that kind of residue coming off the headlight so once you get to this step you start putting the clear coat and you take it easy you go one light coat on the full headlight and then you go back through and start doing two more heavier coats and that is how you come up with these results all right so Rafa came through with the, the gasket for the header so I just slapped that on the headlights are done nice and clean and so I'm just gonna put the bumper back on lower it and turn it on I'll probably just turn it on right now and see what it sounds like. Hey, 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 it'll be like, take two, do it again. Take two. Na, 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 na. Smells like half. Uh, is that a good thing? I don't know. Maybe I can properly tune it now, now that the exhaust isn't coming out the header. Better, better, uh, Air to fuel ratios? Yeah, because after the computer was reading up to 17 to 1, mm -hmm. but the app was telling me 
I love rapid pumps, rapid pump jacks. Oh, the double piston one? Yeah. Or double cylinder or something like that. We have one at work that's not a rapid pump. Uh huh. And that thing goes up so slow. Hey, you remember my dad's, like, yellow one? <laughs> <laughs> you come down on this like the Alright guys, so I think we ended the video here. I got the EP3 running. Sounds good. No more exhaust leak. And that was about it that I did to it. The headlights look good. And so that's all I was going to do to it today. So if you guys like the video, please leave a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.